Hey folks, how y'all doing this evening? This, afternoon, this morning, excuse me. I am putting L brackets on my Iron Ridge XRS system. And I'm going to show you how I mounted the roof. I use 100% silicone to give it a good uh, good seal so it won't leak. But uh, y'all, y'all watch me. I'll show, show you what's going on. Alright. Well, I got to measure it up from 16 and a half inches of my Raptors. And what I use, I use soapstone. Uh, what I use, it's a type of, uh, here it is, soapstone. It's right here. It's usually what you use mark on metal with to cut with, but does good on shingles or any kind of metal surface. Really does good. And, it, and when it rains, it washes off. So, and it's environmentally safe. Alright. Anyway, I'm going to slab my brackets on. Get this old, uh, camera I'll hold up on the roof right here. Y'all see that? <sighs> yeah, all right. I'll take these XRS. These brackets off. Put my boat on, boat on here. That bad boy up in there. That don't work. Should work, yeah. Oh yeah. Got some of them on there. But what we'll do is uh first of all we will drill our hole. Alright. I love my Dewalt drills. Oh yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Alright. Maybe y'all can see this. We're gonna do two of them. a hole. Oh yeah, I got <laughs> I got wood. That's a good that's a good sign. Sign. All right. And what I'll do, I'll take my leg bolt and just drill about drill a bit out of here. Put my uh, impact with the socket on it, particularly in the driving mode. Let me see here. Let me get this off of here for right now. I'm gonna run it down in there. a little bit deeper. Make sure I hit the uh, the raptor. I'm right. Got it going on now, y'all. Take silicone, 100% silicone, 100%. All right, and I'll take and squirt silicone in the hole.
in the hole real good. That is drilled. And I got me a beat, good old bead of silicone right there. Can y'all see that? All right. And I'll take my uh, clip slapper on there. that where the hole is and I'll run her down in there these are lag bolts I'll make sure you bring a rag with you too watch you get the silicon off your fingers and that's it I'll run a little more around for uh, you don't have to. I'll run a little more silicone around that. But this is for safety crossings. If you want no leaks, you can help it. I'm going to loosen that up a little bit. Until I get it tightened. Got my rat, got my ratchet. Down again. All right, she's down. Nice bit. All right, now we'll go to this next one. Right here. Uh, yeah, right here. I'm going to do this other, other one right here. Uh, I'm going to see. I got it marked already. Let me see. All right, there. See, I got it marked. Right here. Yeah, right there. I got it marked. All right. I'm going to go from there. Get this other bracket. L bracket right there. Drill bit. So with me, hope I ain't boring y'all too bad. <clears throat> oh yeah, I got wood. <laughs> That's a good sign. Alright. Now I put on my ratchet. Alright. 
put my bracket on here. Put this bolt right through here, right here. And slide in this XRS bracket. Like that. And yeah, that's good. Alright, now we'll take a lag bolt. Got a stainless steel washer on there. These are all plated. If y'all can see. Oh yeah, she's going good. And I'll take the silicone. Run down that hole that is drilled. Really good. Oh yeah. I put a little blob right there. And it's 100% silicone. It's like a 50 year. Let me see. Premium silicone, rain ready, sun breeze proof, won't crack or crumble. It's great. I think it's got like a 50 year warranty on it. It's really good. Window, door, attic, and basement. Really great. Alright. Slip that bad boy on there like that. Okay. I'll stick my. Gotta find the hole. That's it. I'm running down on there. She's on there. And uh, I'm going to loosen up a, a hair. And she's loose enough. Now I can. And that's how I make my roof uh, connections. I mean, going through the roof without any leaks, hopefully. <laughs> but I hadn't had one so far, knock on wood. Wood underneath. All right, that's tight. Now we'll run that back out a little bit. Oh, these are un these are uncensored videos, by the way. Just letting you know. And I'll run another little, another little bit of silicone on that at them threads. Where the heck of it? All right. I'll run it down again. Oh yeah. And I'll just smear it on there a little bit. And that looks good. She's there. Not going anywhere. How y'all like that, y'all? Anyway, uh, that's my uh, tip for today. And I hope you, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just getting set up. Other panels coming in. And after you get through, after you get through, let's see, get this out of the way. After you get through, you slip these uh, uh caps back on iron ridge caps. Like so. But this is how we this is how we do it. I'm all ready. From other panel, but anyway, uh, the XR, the Iron Ridge XRS system is a great system. Okay, y'all. Well, as y'all can see, wind is kicking today. Make a good wind power. Uh, wind 
Max 400 watt, 24 volt. This is a Max 1000 watt, 24 volt. That is the Davis Advantage view. Got enough buddy of mine on YouTube getting one of these. Hope Billy's a kid. He's gonna love it. Yeah, man. But anybody who's got a small shed roof, I'm gonna put solar panels on. This is the way to do it. And this is an XRS system. I'm adding another panel right here. And that's it. It's all good to go. Anyway, let me turn around here so I won't fall off this roof, but this is what we got. This is a roof, roof view of my solar panels. Right there. There she is. There's my little small panels. Clean up. Alright y'all, thank y'all for watching, this is KVUSNC, and thank you for watching my videos, please subscribe, and I hope y'all like that little tip of how I, uh, you know, go to the roof with my lag bolts, and make sure everything's all secured, won't leak, alright, and I use 100% silicone, uh, a lot of people use asphalt, this is 100% silicone, and going anywhere. I worked on boats and up over the years, so I didn't use them fuel tanks to, you know, our, our consoles to put the hatch down on the uh, deck of a fiberglass boat and screw it down. I'm, you know, if you're doing any work, it will not come up. <laughs> it's, some stuff, it's some tough stuff. All right. Thank you all for watching. This is KVSMC. Wild Officer Kenny. Kenny Byer. That's my name. Y'all have, yeah, have a good one. That's why I'll name up my little new energy nonprofit uh buyer velocity. It's my last name's buyer. Alright, y'all have a good one. Y'all take care. Bye bye. Slide that bad boy up in there. That'll work. Should work, yeah. Oh yeah. Got some of them on there. But what we'll do is uh first of all we will drill our hole. Alright. Oh yeah, I got <laughs> I got wood. That's a good that's a good scent. Sign. All right, and what I'll do, I'll take my leg bolt and just drill about it, drill bit out of here. All right. I'll put my uh, impact with the socket on it, particularly in the driving mode. here for right now. Oh, I love my Dewalt drills. Oh yeah. They're nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Maybe y'all can see this. We're going to do two of them. Drum a hole. Hey folks, how y'all doing this evening? This, afternoon, this morning, excuse me. I am putting L brackets on my Iron Ridge XRS system. And I'm going to show you how I mount it on the roof. I use 100% silicone to give it a good uh, good seal so it won't leak. But uh, y'all, Y'all watch me, I'll show, show you what's going on. Alright. Well, I got to measure it up from 16 and a half inches of my Raptors. And what I use, I use soapstone. Uh, what I use, it's a type of, uh, here it is, soapstone. It's right here. It's usually what you use mark on metal with to cut with, but does good on shingles. 
or any kind of metal surface really does good and, it, and when it rains it washes off so and it's environmentally safe alright anyway I'm going to slap my brackets on get this old uh, camera hold up on the roof right here y'all see that uh, yeah alright I'm going to take these XRS Brackets off. Put my boat on boat on here. 